Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Hot Point First Edition. It's a model number WM11P. I've previously put up a video on how to clean out the lint filter basket in this one, but I've got a few questions about it, and I think people people on the internet would probably be able to help me. So, looking up on top, it's quite an old machine, I'd say. Got to be 20, 25 years old. The top is held on with two screws at the back, and then just slides slides off like most ones nowadays. But it's completely made of metal. You see that there? It's a metal top. Typically nowadays they're made out of some kind of timber composite. Inside it's far more rudimentary than a modern one. Kind of the way a new car looks sleeker when you take off the top. In here things are kind of individual and have lots of space around them. So you've got a square concrete block rather than a molded one and whatnot. But what I like about this one, and I've seen another one, I think it was a Creda washing machine before. I like that the motor's on top. For some reason to me that makes sense. Of course, on the other hand, it means you've got to put extra ballast on the bottom to counteract that load moving around on the top. So it's easy to service it, it's easy to get at the brushes, but it's not that easy then to balance the machine. So you end up with a heavier machine. In here it's got an electromechanical timer and programmer and a bit of circuitry to power the motor. There's your suppressor on the back, simple in and out wires, hot and cold fill, old timey clips, none of these modern clips. So just simple kind of component parts that it's built out of. So here's the motor number. It's an AC motor for electronic speed control, pretty much the same as any universal motor. It's a brushed motor. There's, you see those white carriers there on each side. And there's one over there as well. There are the brush, brush holders. On the back, it's got this interesting kind of clamped on arrangement with a spring that has like a carbon brush or some kind of a brush that rides on the motor pulley. Now I've never seen this before. And it seems to be somehow connected. That's me opening the front door. So it seems to be somehow connected to the door interlock by a cable. So I don't know what that is. And if somebody, I'll probably figure it out if I take it apart, but I don't know that I'm going to waste the time on it. It's got a black cable running all the way down along there to the front door. Round on the back, we've got the aluminium pulley on the back of the tub. It's a plastic tub, but it can be opened on the front. There's some details of how to fit or remove the um, transport bracket. Down on the bottom, it's got this cover here as well. I've taken off the two covers so you can see. The pump's just mounted on the bottom. It's a standard in and out pump, and that goes to the filter basket. And like I said, there's another video up on YouTube of how to clean that filter basket. If you look down the bottom, it's got some kind of shock absorbers there, gas strut kind of things and a massive lump of concrete fitted to the bottom to counteract that weight up on top. Even though it's a pretty basic model, it does have a removable uh, clip-on front to the plastic tub, so you can take it up completely apart to get at the bearings. And you can see actually, ah, well here's a problem with it now. Just right there, there's a slash. Ah, we're starting to see issues with it. Right, okay, so if you look down on that door interlock, the white box just there, on the right-hand side, there's a load of crumbs of rubber on it. And I've got a feeling that the door seal is on the way out, and that might be the reason. But if you hold it back like that, you can see just in the center of the picture there, there's a slash in that door seal rubber. So this machine is probably probably on the way out. But yeah, if you know anything about it, tell me what this thing's for. It's it's um it's just kind of like a plastic riding thing that sits sits over that motor. Don't know what it is. Maybe it's it's that the door won't unlock if that's turning or something or like a brake on the motor maybe for opening the door interlock. I really don't know, but tell me if you do. Any views in there? Not much to see, just some cabling. The door interlock's down there. The pressure switch is up here on top, but there's a pressure bottle down at the bottom of that hose. The door interlock also seems to be connected to something via a black hose. Don't know what that is. Because at the bottom of the door interlock, you can see that cable. goes to the motor. It's almost like a brake. Not sure if that's what it is. Haven't turned it on, haven't watched it work. So yeah, I think this machine's gonna be scrapped and have a brick thrown in it in the near future. So keep watching for that. Thanks for watching. See you later.